No sweat. No sweat at all for at least four to six weeks. Man. So I heard the news yesterday, breaking news out, that Montez Sweat broke his jaw during the Denver game and is expected to be out four to six weeks uh, in recovery. Now, of course, one of those weeks is, of course, this, um, you know, it's a bye week. I'm hoping that they're not talking about four to six weeks from, you know, this point, like this weekend on. Uh, maybe they're including this week as well. So maybe it's maybe it's more like three to five weeks. Um, best case scenario, of course, is if Sweat is able to come back after the next three weeks, uh, he then he will be brought back in time for our stretch run through all of these NFC East games. Uh, because, you know, you know how the NFC East is. You want to have all of your best players on the field because, I mean, hey, you know, these games really determine your season. Although we pretty much already feel like our season has been determined at this point. Still, it would be nice to have Montez Sweat back for those games and see what the Washington football team can do when they have to go back to face Dallas, Philly, and the New York Giants again. So, yeah, this is this is pretty bad. Now, um, of course... You know, people are talking about, well, guess what they're going to do? They're going to double team Chase Young. And so they're going to neutralize him, make sure that he's not a factor. But keep in mind, we do still have other guys who have actually gotten quite a few sacks over the season so far. I mean, like Jonathan Allen. Uh, you can't ignore Jonathan Allen. You can't ignore Deron Payne. Uh, you know, um, Matt Ioannidis. He's a baller as well. So, I mean, we've got guys in there that we can either rotate in. You know, some of our bench guys who have been able to get sacks as well. So, I don't know if it's going to be the... Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and really see how much it really does affect us with having Montez Sweat out. Now, don't get me wrong. It's going to affect us a lot. Montez Sweat, I think, honestly... He is a little bit further in his game than Chase Young in some respects. Now, Chase Young, uh, I know some will disagree with me at this point right now because, you know, they're angry Washington football team fans. But I think Chase Young is a, going to be a generational type of player. I think, uh, you know, he's definitely going to be an all-pro player each and every year in his own respect. But I think he's not quite reached the point where he is that scary just yet. I think he's trying to get there. Sometimes he may, might be trying to do a little too much, but, you know, he's definitely going to be that guy that you have to watch out for. That being said, Montez Sweat just seems like he has developed in, in a very short amount of time. He's further along with maybe some of his techniques, maybe being able to get pressure on the quarterback a little bit better. I mean, he's gotten to the quarterback a few times this year, uh, so we are going to miss him. There's no doubt about that, uh, and it's just, it, you know, it seems like with how this season has gone for this franchise and this team, it's like, you know, just when you think, okay, maybe things will get better, we'll just, you know, we'll take a bye week, we'll get people healthy, we'll get some players back that we have been missing, and then, you know, this season's like, hold my beer, you know, I mean, it's like, we don't need this, we definitely don't need this, but, you know, I know it sounds cliche, but that's why you try to build depth uh, with every position, because you do that in... Not hopes, but you do that with the knowledge that somebody's going to be out hurt. Somebody's going to be injured. You know, you don't want to wish that on anyone, but it's just going to happen. And so you've got to be able to have good quality guys who can be in there and back that, that starter up and have the level of, of the level of quality production not fall off that much. And so we're going to have to see how that turns out. I believe we are pretty, I believe we're, we're pretty good as far as depth um, on that uh, defensive line. So, 
yeah, this this just um, this is not a a fun thing to talk about. Certainly with uh, um, with Montez Sweat being out, um, I know some people. I think I've even read where someone was like, "I'd rather have Chase Young out." Now that's a little bit ridiculous. Okay, guys, no, you don't. You don't want to have Chase Young out. I mean, let's just not go that far. I think, you know, honestly, I think sometimes uh, us Washington football fans, in our grief, in our um, madness and anger with how things go, because, you know, quite frankly, we're tired of seeing this team lose all the time, that, you know, we start to uh, turn a blind eye toward what good that, you know, some of these players are doing on the field. And so, you know, we just assume, you know, if it's a big name star like Chase Young and he's not getting three sacks a game, then he's not playing up to his potential and ability. And come on, folks. I mean, Bruce Al oh, Bruce Allen, oh, um, Bruce Smith did not get, you know, sacks every single game. Okay. Um, so, I mean, just lay off, all right? I mean, it's what you have to do. I mean, honestly, it's not one player's fault. It's a, it's the whole team. It's the coaching. Everybody, okay? So it, it's not just one or two players. That being said, we're going to have to deal with Montez Sweat being out. Now, I, I do want to follow up. Um, this is kind of a, I don't know, this is kind of an addition to the video, but I do want to follow up with, you know, the other day I made a video about Landon Collins being traded and there were talks, there were basically, there were trade talks uh, with, uh, it sounded like the Buffalo Bills, they were willing to trade uh, Mitch Trubisky to anyone um, because, well, uh, they were trying to unload him and it just made sense that Landon Collins, we would want to try to unload him being that his, uh, I mean, his contract is huge, and he is not living up to his contract. Now, he is playing better at linebacker, but that's not where we wanted him to play well at. We wanted him to be a safety. That's why we brought him in, and he's just not performed very well at the safety position. So there were definitely talks about Landon Collins being traded, but the last 4 o'clock comes and goes, no trade, nothing, silence. So... Yeah, there we've passed that, folks. So no, no more talk about trades this year. Uh, but there was talks about uh, Mitchell Trubisky coming here to the Washington Football Team. He is going to get another chance to start, I believe, in the league. I don't think it's going to be with the Washington Football Team, though. Uh, and this may be uh, a more in-depth video for some other time, and we'll probably talk about this probably in the off season. But anyway. That is what was supposed to happen. I had, certainly, I thought that before 4 o'clock, we were going to see Landon Collins out. And I, But then again, I thought that we were going to see Chris Blewett, you know, get cut Monday. And he's still with the team. So, maybe it's a little bit of Ron Rivera's, uh, you know, bullish... Um, I, I don't know, ego or something like that. I, I, it's hard for me to picture Ron Rivera having uh, an ego in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, I like the guy so much. I, I liked him when he was in Carolina. Uh, okay, so maybe I, I'm a little biased. Um, I know that other Washington fans have already packed their bags and they've already jumped off of that Ron Rivera uh, riverboat bandwagon. Um, but... I think it's way too early for that. I just think we have to say, guess what? It was a bum season, right? Um, Got to do better next season. Uh, and this season seems like it's went by pretty fast, too. So that might be a good thing for us. You know, if the season kind of goes by quickly, kind of, you know, scoot it under the rug, regroup, and see what we can do for next year, possibly. Anyway, that's what I had for this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know about uh, Montez Sweat. Um, if you would, please leave me a like, uh, share this video, 
uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. And most importantly, uh, if you're really enjoying the content of this channel, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, I will talk to you later.